Welcome to the next episode of DSEI Insights in Action. We are still in Dubai on Global Freight Summit organized by our member DP World. So I have with me now uh, our director of research, Vive Gelani, who will actually, especially for this occasion, open the door of his kitchen a little bit and show us what's cooking inside. So Vivek, welcome and please bring us into what's going on. Thank you, Marco. Um, so as a, you already don't know probably, um, as a member-led institute, um, uh, we work on the priorities set by our members who are a global supply chain leader and global supply chain companies. Um, so currently, as a priority for our institute, we are working on uh, a generative AI and how the, the how we can use that in the application of supply chain and how it can bring efficiency, but uh, uh, not only efficiency, but how it can actually level it up to the next level of AI, which was just traditional AI that everybody using it for uh, data analytics, uh, data processing, and, uh, and, and the informed decision making. Uh, the second topic that we are working on right now is ESG, so environmental sustainability and go governance, and one of the main uh, aspect that we are focusing on right now is the carbon within it. So how com different uh, companies are collecting data on the carbon, right? Um, I think one of the main challenges that we found in the ESG research area is around how companies are struggling to report some of those numbers as well. So how to get that data right and how to work on that to achieve the goal set by the company's executive board and everything. I think that is where we are focusing on right now. So we are currently partnering with one other research institute on this. Um, and hopefully we'll have some early results coming up next year uh, on, on the ESG area. The third topic that uh, we are working on is constellation of value as well. Um, so for those who don't know about constellation, um, at DSCI we, we came up with the idea of front side flip framework and to do the front side flip framework where supply chain needs, traditional supply chain needs to transform from back end side of the uh, uh, business function to the front side of the uh, business function from cost to the revenue generation. Um, and to do that, I think we came up with a uh, framework that, I, that is actually an implementation framework that helps them to do that transition from back end to the front end. Uh, so constellation is like you, uh, a, a supply chain owner can create their own um, constellation with their supply chain partners, logistic partners, and the whole end-to-end -end supply chain, which they are connecting not in a linear fashion, but in a 3D dimensional network. Um, that helps bring the efficiency into, uh, into their operation. So that is what we are working on right now on how to actually implement that uh, for our supply chain and how, how to bring results out, out of that. Um, and last but not least is, uh, is new customer actually uh, because what we have found is uh, we have seen that almost all of the companies across the world are going through the digital transformation right now. And uh, that is definitely uh, triggered by like technology because technology innovation is going up and up every year. But the main reason behind some of those transformation are not only technology, but the new customers, right? And when we talk about new customers, it's just not uh, like get a new customer for your business, but it's all about how you're understanding your customer's expectation, right? Because the customer's expectation are changing rapidly. Like every moment, every minute, every hour. So how you put your, um, how you get the pulse from the customer and understand that and pivot your business in a way that you can meet those needs. Um, so I think we, we have been working on it and, and we have been working on the, those for the last three years on this. Let, let's capture the notion of the, of the new customer. I think that's something which is uh, really intriguing, uh, not only because how quickly things are changing, but as well as you mentioned, the, the front side flip concept, uh, the whole framework which DSCI created is actually starting from a notion of the customer you know, uh, as the as the front right and center, right? So in that sense, I know that uh, the new customer research is much more than just a regular research because it's already the third year in a row yeah. that it's done and I, I know that DSCI has given commitment to continue doing it. And I think it would be very, very interesting for the audience that you cross compare the learnings in between the years because it's phenomenal how things are quickly changing. No, definitely. I think um, we are, so. At DSCI, we have been doing this research for the last three years. So we just completed our last study in October, last month, and and it, it showed some extraordinary results on on, on change in behavior in customers' preferences. Um, and I'll talk about that and and why this all is happening. 
So that is one main reason around that is um, internet adoption, right? More young people are coming into uh, coming online, and they're getting adopted to the new technology, new 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 expectation, and that helps them uh, set their priorities for for supply chain, right? So so for any company, uh, new customer is be becoming a key stakeholder right now. Um, and if we just talk about the survey itself, uh, we have seen that uh, uh, the demand for transparency, right? Last year when we did the survey, there were around 33 people who wanted, 33% of the survey respondent wanted to have transparency in, uh, into where their products are coming from, where they are uh, delivering and how they are delivering it. Uh, but if you look at this year, it jumped from 33 to 52%. So that's a huge jump in, in, in change in expectation in, around transparency as well. Uh, same thing around uh, online shopping as well. There was like 15% jump uh, in more people are wanting to shop online, which actually triggers supply chain to move to e-commerce, that D2C business. Uh, D2C business. So um, I think that like change in expectation um, over the course of years is triggering supply chain to be more focused on. Um, and the one thing we say at uh, Digital Supply Chain Institute is everybody talks about customer center but what we talk about is customer present. You need to be present with your customer at any moment and need to understand that expectation to even meet that because if you are centered, it means you are just behind uh, on, on, on even learning that expectation and you, you won't be able to match what they are expecting at the time. Uh, so definitely I think all the supply chain leaders that we have in our membership as well um, all talk about need to be customer present, need to be real with the customer in the moment and how to understand that, I think that's more important. I, I like what you what you brought that, you know, uh, uh, where the customer is, that if you stand at the center, you're already uh, uh, late and that you need to be present. And talking about the uh, customer presence, I think um, what you clearly shared uh, shows that, you know, the businesses and looking into digital transformation is not, you know, um, uh, if they should do it or, you know, should they start now, but even if they start now, they're late and they need to catch up. So in that sense, I think there, there is a part of the research which also talks about B2B side, right? And, and that B2B side is also interesting just to hear what are the main drivers of it. Because uh, what I have seen through reading it is that, you know, these things are almost connecting now in a sense of the expectations, which never happened before. No, no, definitely. I think um, so. We we just don't do B two B two C expectation and, and and the surveys and analysis on that. We also talk about B two B and do do study on that. And we have seen that both B two B expectation and B two C expectation are overlapping, right? Because what happens when I personally, if I talk about myself as a B two C customer, I always expect my deliveries to come in a day or in in, in the same day delivery, right? And those expectations as they build up and it becomes like a regular thing for me. It also affects how I do that in my B2B business or if, I, I'm, if I'm working or if I'm running a business, my expectation are also the same thing. And we have noticed that through our uh, study as well where we do B2B and B2C survey. So in our B2B survey, uh, the expectation are similar to B2C expectation. Uh, but when we talk to supply chain leaders across the world, they don't understand that because for them, it's a B2B business and they, they haven't focused their supply chain processes on uh, meeting those needs like a B2C need. Uh, so there, there's, there is definitely a gap in what customers are wanting in B2B, what companies can do in B2B right now. Uh, so I, I think uh, B2B businesses need to make sure that they understand those evolving needs of the B2B customers as well and try to uh, transform around that as well. So yeah, definitely, I think there is overlap, and I think it will become more evident as we, as, as we go in, in the future, uh, more and more customers will ask that. Thank you very much, Vivek. So we, we really stay focused on uh, looking into what's coming uh, for the next year research. I think the greatest value also comes from cross-comparing the data, but definitely through what you shared briefly with us, you know, we can see that the things are accelerating much more than we expect, and that the, the key driver is the customer presence in both B2B and B2C. Yes. So Vivek, keep up you know, the, the good work with the team and we look forward to the new results. No, definitely, we look forward. Thank you for being us, with us with uh, this episode of uh, DSEI Insights in Actions. Stay tuned for more.